Good afternoon everyone and I hope you're all well. Welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about how to set up a recruitment agency website on WordPress. So it's very simple, there is no coding skills involved. What we're going to do is just click a few buttons and we're going to have a website similar to this. So this is one of my recruitment agencies called Imperial Recruiters and what we're going to do is we're going to make it look similar to this with a few clicks and I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to do it. If you are looking for hosting for your website, my link for Bluehost is down below. Um, so if you want to use that, go ahead. I'm also going to link to a playlist on how to start a recruitment agency. The first two parts is actually showing you exactly how to set up the website. So it's live basically. Um, so what we're going to do is I've edited this website, but what we're going to do is we're going to remade it, change a few things. We're going to add a contact us. We're going to add an about us page, and we're just going to make it a little, little better. And we're also going to add a job. So we've got the functionality for the job part here, so we can search um, off of that. We've got a blog part as well. So I'm going to show you how to add to your blog as well. So hopefully you find some value in this. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into our WordPress admin page. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to appearance. Now, a theme is classed as basically the design. You can install anyone you like. So if we activate this theme, it's going to change it with one click what the website looks like. So if we go into Imperial Recruiters now, the website looks completely different. And I believe if we switch back, hopefully <laughs> it should remain how it was we may have to alternate some features, but it's gone back to how it was. So it's very easy and simple. How you'd add a theme is you go to add theme. There's a number of fee fee free themes. I use Job Scout, which is a free theme. There's also premium features, but I'm gonna show you how. You don't really need it at this stage, especially at startup. So if you just type job into the theme section, which is here on the, under appearance, you can find different types of websites that are similar to a job board and if for example we install this one I mean I've got job spout installed but I don't have this one which is called job portal let's activate it and see how it looks like chances are it's not going to look how we want or how the demo is and let's refresh the page see how it looks so actually it doesn't look too bad in fact, so if you wanted to go with this theme, it's exactly the same functionality as that. So once you've installed, it's not going to look exactly like this. I had to do a few additional features, um, which I'm going to go through exactly now. Now, the Job Scout, Job Scout theme actually looks quite different to what it looks on my website. So we can go to a, a view demo and this is what it looks like. This is obviously the paid features and there's a lot more. There's a post job section. Um, most of this will look the same as well, but there are added features, but I'm gonna show you how to use another plugin to do that. So if you wanna use it as a job board style and run your agency through that, you're very welcome to um, off of that. So yeah, that, that's how the theme looks. And I'm gonna show you how to import the theme demo so it looks exactly like this or close enough off of that so all you want to do is you want to go to plugins and you want to click add new and there is a feature when you download the job scout you have to go into their website and there's something called a rara <coughs> rara are the people that make the theme basically and all you're going to do is you're going to install the plugin which is a one click import you can go on their website and find exactly how to find a document and you just upload it once you've done that um, and it's very simple you just click install once you've installed that you click install like here and then you click activate once that happens you go to appearance and there'll be a section here where you can actually just click import and it takes a while it takes probably two three minutes once you've done that you just click demo import if you buy the free the premium theme you can feel free to do that um, and here's all the instructions you can go to the documents page and they've got a support team as well if you have any trouble with that once you do click install you'll have a website that looks very similar to this so how do we customize this section so all you do is you click customize and what this is going to do is going to bring up um, sections of the website mainly the home page that we can change and tweak I mean you can watch tons of other tutorials I won't go too much in depth 
on on this exactly so it's all very simple if we want to edit this section say if we want to take out apply and we just want to click submit it will change this feature and then we can literally just click publish and then that's done so that's obviously changed it as well we can change this feature and it will obviously be changed it's that simple um, off of that there's a blog section a call to action as well so all these little things you can add you can add I don't know a featured job section and that will appear right here as well the latest jobs you can obviously change the title of that by just clicking the blue button here and that's pretty much it so I won't save that I'll go back and what we want to do is we want to add a page for candidates and we want to add a page for um, employers as well so how we do that is we'll just click pages where are you mate pages so we want to add new <coughs> excuse me and we're going to show I'm going to show you how to add it in this section here once it loads up so let's say we have a page for employers let's just call it employers and you want to click publish we haven't obviously added the content yet but you can obviously add that later on um, with that so if we, I refresh the page it is not showing up there but I believe if we grab the link the page will exist so it's just forward slash employers and that's it so we want to add another page off of that so let's close this go back to WordPress and we want to add another page onto this and we're going to call it candidates as well so let's just call it candidates and let's publish that and then we're going to add it to the menu part so it's fairly simple as long as you know where to go and what to look at with that so obviously forward slash candidates and we're just gonna click candidates there and it's not showing up so what we want to do is we want to go back to WordPress on our admin panel and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it to the menu section so we got appearance menus and then we've got employer and we just click add to menu if you wanted to any other page you add you can just click this and save and fingers crossed I hope I've done it right it should add to the top here there we have it we've got a candidate page client page and we can add edits here and then we can add our features or whatever we want there contact us page I recommend a plugin for that so if we click add new there will be a plugin contact us I think it actually comes with most WordPress themes actually it might already be installed so if you wanted to do a very simple one I would recommend trying a few of these um, Ninja Forms is very good so we're going to install that we're going to have a look and then we're going to see exactly where to do so you would add the page or it may even do it for us similar to what we've done and then we'll add it to the menu so it'll be a contact us page you can even have it on the side as well but most people want to have an about us page contact us page and an employers candidates and that's it um, so let's see where it's gone to ninja forms perfect no thanks so it's already got a pre-built contact us page or contact me and it's what it does is it already designs it for you so this is what you want so you want a name email whatever and a submission button so you want to publish that
Yep, that's all cool. We might want to change that to contact us. And click done. Let's close this out and I believe it will be contact me or contact us and there we have it that's the page and we're going to show you exactly how to link that and put that in the menu and um, what we want to do is we want to have a we want to go to the customize section And we want to create a menu, so we're going to say contact us, us, and it's going to be primary. And we're going to add a page, please. publish it first has that done it let's have a look no oh, we've messed the whole thing up let's go back no we won't, don't want to attack publish This is what happens when you don't rehearse things. Come on, cads. Keep it together. If not, we can add it through this section, I believe. So ignore that part. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to add it to the menu part. And we're just going to leave it as a blank. We're just What we want to do is we don't want to make a new page. We want to just link it to that actual link, which was the Contact Us page from that. So let's do that. God, it's all going wrong. Look, we've got the loading speed. We've got me messing up the video. Let's click it again. Why not? It looks like the whole menu's disappeared. <laughs> God, why is it taking so long? There we go. There we go. And let's custom link. And what we're going to do is we're going to just copy and paste that and contact us. We got there in the end. And it should add to the menu. And let's save that. Test it out. Fingers crossed. I'm thinking it's actually just going to show the contact us part, but let's have a look. Oh god, it's not even showing up. Let's see. There we have it. Contact us. So, there's a bit of plain about as you can see. This will go the email will go to whoever or whatever your registered email is. You can change it later on, um, but I don't want to go into that now because, I, as you can tell, I haven't rehearsed anything. So, just to show you how easy it is, I mean, that took me five minutes. Customize your website, your WordPress website. And, yeah, I hope this helps. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Any questions, let me know. I've been running WordPress websites for years, so, you know, there's... <laughs> you wouldn't think it after that but I do know my way around WordPress and actually you know building a very simple website it's easy to function and a lot of people are put off by it because it looks quite complex but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video hope it helped as well take care